Yo, what's going on, sexy Samuel Squad? Today we're doing a rank one. I'm playing Marta Chorus. I'm gonna change the skin though, because I always use that skin. We're just gonna be a recolor, ascended. And uh, yeah. So, let's see. What should I build? What do I want to do? I kind of want to go. By the gods. Now, I kind of want to go like full ability based, you know? Them. Like just straight up full ability based. Like just transcendence devos with the double stacking. Does devos still give a lot of power? Is it even worth stacking it? Is you point four. What is that 20? That's 20. That's only 50 power. Not really worth stacking. Like Griffin. Crimson Claw gives 50 power as well. I guess it's probably worth stacking. Because I can I can go both Devos and I can go Claw. I want to go Soul Eater too, though. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um oh, hello. I've been blinked on. I've been blinked on and comboed by a whore. I rooted him. Oh, he didn't die though. He didn't die though. You're dead. You're dead. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Dude, that's crazy. He actually could have killed me at red buff there. I was a little bit scared when he blinked on me because I was like, oh no. Oh no. I've made errors. There's 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 errors here. Alright. Nice. So let's go back. We'll get transcendence. And then I guess my next item probably should be Soul Eater, right? Like, it should just be a Soul Eater, realistically. Just because it takes so freaking long to stack. Thank you. Okay, all I had to do there was I I just had to bait him into like a sense of security to where he uh, he was down to like full commit onto me thinking that maybe for whatever reason I fat fingered and I didn't have my alt or something. Because there's no way that I lose that fight as long as as long as I use my alt correctly. Like it's all about the alt timing. We bait him and then we use the alt correctly. I guess it is still risky to do because like if I if I mess up my alt, I just straight up don't ever win that fight. What made you play man face? Is Marta Chorus known as man face to you? I just realized I haven't played him in a really long time. So I figured I'd I'd give him a go. You know when Marta Chorus came out, he was he was a menace in the queues, bro. He was so good. I mean, I'm sure he's still really good. It's just like... I don't know. I guess... 
he seems like he's less good just because people have had time now to kind of like adapt to the play style you need as not only while playing as Martikors, but also against a Martikors. So it's always crazy to say like when a god first comes out they're always going to be the best they ever are because because they're so new and realistically it's only because they're new like parts of their their kit could be really good and op in general such as like mom and brigette or something but This is the second time you've blinked on me at red buff, and every time it is pissing me off, Fado. Fado. Okay. Wait, he actually gave me this. He's alting me. Well, that did not do any damage. What the heck? We're just going to back out. Grab this. We'll go Crimson Claw because Crimson Claw has 50 power on it. 50 power is big, big, big. We're going to go Heartseeker. We're going to go Crusher. And I think we're going to go Titan's Bane as well. We're just going to go six super good, like, I am an ability-based character items. I don't think Crimson Claw is really an ability-based character item. It's just the fact that it has 50 power is crazy. Like even Beat Stick and like Crusher, all these items that are like known for having good power, none of them even have 50. So the fact that Crimson Claw is 50 is crazy. A fully stacked, a fully stacked Devos only has 50 power. I want to stay close to the minion wave just so I'm getting the stacks on my soul leader here when the minion wave dies. I miss. Oh, I could die. Oh. I don't know why he didn't fight that. I mean, thank you. Very many appreciations. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Wow, that is tragic. Toasty, thank you for the sub. Um, oh, I just realized if I go into Crimson Claw, I won't have any cooldown. In my entire build. Art Secret doesn't give cooldown. Crusher doesn't give cooldown. Like, it might be worth it for me to just go Yones instead. By the way, yes, I know I left the base without buying an item. I realized... I thought this was 1,600 gold, but it's actually 1,800, so... I'm just gonna throw my one at the wave and then back. I can't die here, because I have... I have meditation and all. I'm gonna grab Crimson Claw. And then I think I'll probably just go Crusher, Heartseeker, Titan's Bane. Almost as many pets as I do have subs. Actually, I only have 500 subs, so I have way more pets than I do subs. Red buff acquired. Oh, hello. Damn. I really wonder if I ulted a little bit earlier, could I have killed him there maybe? I feel like maybe I could have. Oh, I got his tower. Nice. 
Okay, so I have my transcendence finished. Now I need to get my soul eater finished, and I'm still working on the crusher right now. 2,500. Am I scared of him? Not really. I'm just going to go get through two. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Nice. Damn it. Horus is really wiggly, bro. It never feels like Horus is a wiggly boy until you try to kill him. <laughs> like, if you're playing as Horus, you're like, yeah, I mean, he's got some movement. He's got the dash. He's got the three as long as it's on the minion wave. But then when you're fighting him, you're like, how the fuck, dude? How, how does he always have an escape? How can he always simply walk away? But then again, that could just be a me problem. Because I do feel like, personally, I feel that way about a lot of gods. What's the best ability... Ability build relic? Sunder? <laughs> I'm down. Fuck it. Sunder. Sunder. All right. Oh, that hit him. Only for 190? Bro, I have so many items. How is... How is my main damaging ability hitting him for less than 200? What a messed up day. Oh, my attack speed's so fast. Holy crap. Okay. Nothing there. Let's just go get red buff. Oh, just Heartseeker. 2750. That's expensive. Um. Oh my god, he's going auto attack crit? Oh, wait, I could lose this. Is he halting me? Yeah, that Sunder's nothing to mess with, huh? That Sunder's nothing to mess with, huh, buddy? Got owned by the Sunder. By the way, I am healing a shit ton. Look at this. 900 HP, all the way up to like 11, 8, okay, oh, 1200, basically. So I was getting heals from the tick damage. I heal so much. Oh, you know, I probably should have done something productive with that kill time, huh? Instead, I just did blues and then a wave. I could have definitely just gotten gold even. Whatever, I'm only 100 gold out now. Where are the chests? I just realized I haven't seen a single Chesterfield this entire game. Where the heck are they? I actually don't know. A perfect heart seeker angle. They will learn to 304 power. But that's with red buff, though. Oh, God, he got crit. Oh, God, he got crit chance. And he has blink, too. I'm scared, actually. Nice. I don't know if I really needed to alt when he blinked on me. But I feel like his one can crit, right? I do not have bull demon. Ow. Ow. 
I don't know why I thought that I had bull demon. Oh god, he's ulting. Oh god, he's ulting. Okay, he ulted the wave. Nice. What did my alt damage do? 440. That's pretty bad, man. Like, he's not even tanky. Why does my ult do no damage? How much is Titan's Bane? 2,500. Okay, I was clearly aiming this way, right? And then it would, it would like, boom, boom, boom. I don't know. I don't know. Might be a duality angle. Oh, you know what? Wait, you know what? You might be a genius. 55 power and it double procs. Heartseeker and Crusher. Wait just a second. You might be a genius. I'm going to do so much damage, bro. I want a 500 pot. I want to see how much power I have with the 500 pot. 420 it's meant to be. It is meant to be. How much does my alt do? It does 140 per hit. All right, it's time. No more Mr. Nice Guy. It only did 90 per hit. I was lied to. I was lied to. I thought it was going to cook him. It did like no damage. Holy crap, my autos do so much. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What I do so much damage. I missed. No. No. I got crit. Ouch. All right. I mean, I might as well like upgrade this or something. Ugh. I might lose my tower here. Duality looks good in gray screen. Yeah, I I don't think I hit an auto on him. <laughs> Your is under but you can't always be blessed. Is this up? Uh, of course it's not. Why would it be? But his blink is down, so now he's actually going to fight me for real. And it's not very easy for him. It's actually really hard for him to fight me for real. Like, getting close enough. Without blink, it's, like, really tough. You're dead, Arches. You're dead, Arches. I'm got he's just gonna lose dominions. will be so. Yeah, what is 
Boom. Boom. There it is. There it is. G G. G G. Drop the one. No. <laughs> I was gonna kill it, man. All right. G G. That was a fun game. Ability based Mart Mart course. He's always fun to play. I do wish that I was able to utilize the duality a little bit more. It didn't really feel like it did too much, but I did have 420 power, so that's sick. And I am MMR capped. GG! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.